Oops, it seems like someone needs to see a doctor today. Who do you think? Click on play and join the fun with Alex and Lily. Good morning, guys. I should turn the light on. Hi, Alex. Hi, Lily. But Lily, you're full of red marks. We should probably clean you. Weird, they're not going away. Wait a minute, they're not stains. You've got the chicken pox. We've got to take you to the doctor's ASAP. Alex, you look after the house. Don't worry, the doctor is on her way. Hello, I've heard your name is Lily. I'm the doctor, and I'm going to heal you. Is it really itchy? You poor thing. Let's see if you got a fever. Hmm, it looks like you do. To bring the temperature down, I'll give you some syrup. Any better? Try not to scratch it, Lily, or you'll never get rid of those marks. This spray will bring the itchiness down. Close your eyes. Any better? Hmm, the red marks are gone, but not the infected ones. That's all right. This cream will help you. It makes the infection go away. I'm sure once you get home and get some rest, you'll feel great. Miss Lily, you've been really good and have barely scratched. You are super brave. See you next time. Wow, Lily, you look so much better. We can go home and play now. Wow, I see you've got the cupcakes already. But before we start eating, how about we decorate them? Picking characters with the colors of the rainbow. Great. All right. What red character do you like, Lily? <laughs> Elmo from the Muppets. <laughs> Since he's got red hair, we can use a cherry pastry bag. And for the nose, an orange one. Let's see what we can use for the eyes. A couple of white chocolate coins. And a couple of dark chocolate balls. Ta-da! <laughs> Hoo Hoo will be the orange one from the Monsters. <laughs> for the base, we'll use the orange pastry bag again. And for the mouth, a yellow lemon. And same as we did with Elmo, we'll use white chocolate coins and dark chocolate balls for the eyes. Lastly, we'll use a blue cone for the horn. Ta-da! <laughs> Pikachu will be the yellow one, the most adorable Pokemon of them all. And since Pikachu is yellow, we'll use the lemon pastry bag. But for the chubby cheeks, we'll use the cherry one. And for his eyes, face and ears, we'll use dark chocolate. Ta-da! Mike will be the green one from Monsters, Inc. For Mike, we'll need a green base. Kiwi, for example. And since he's only got one eye, we'll need less chocolate. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Connor will be the blue one from PJ Masks. This time around, we'll start with the eyes. So we can then put the suit on top. For the mask, We'll need a blue pastry bag. We'll use blueberries. But for the pattern in the costume, we'll need blueberries and cream. So we get a lighter blue. Ta-da! 
My light sparkle will be the purple one from My Little Pony. For the base, we'll use the pastry bag with blackberries and cream, so we get lilac. For the hair, we'll use blueberries without the cream, so it'll be purple. We also need pink for the hair. We'll use strawberries. Time for the eyes now. The pupils. And lastly, a cone lilac horn. Ta-da! <laughs> Ellie will be the next one. The pink elephant from Pocoyo. Since she is pink, we'll use the strawberries pastry bag. And for the eyes, we'll just need some dark chocolate balls. Ta-da! Have you enjoyed decorating cupcakes? Well then now, time to eat them! Yay! Hi, guys! What's wrong, Max? It's time to take your PJs off and start the day! Oh no! You're full of mites! I hope they haven't made it to Kira's body. Thank goodness, you are all clean. Don't worry, Max. I'll take you to the vet straight away. Calm down, Max. The vet is on her way, and she'll heal you. Such a cute puppy. Your name's Max, right? I'm the vet. I'm going to help you get rid of those mites. Does it hurt? I see. Let's see how stuck they are. Wow, they are hanging in there super strongly. We need to do something about it ASAP. First, we need to get rid of them with tweezers. Don't worry, I'll be very careful. Mites are arachnid bugs. They like looking for a body and sticking themselves to it, digging their feet into the skin so they can suck the blood out and feed themselves that way. Most of them are easy to get rid of, but we need to do it carefully, or they can leave their teeth stuck and infect the area. Good, they're all gone. Now let's get some cream on those wounds to heal the pain and prevent from further infection. So you can go home with your family and play as much as you like. Any better? Great. You are a mite-free puppy now. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Hi, Lily. <laughs> wow, you're not far from learning how to stand. <laughs> Lily, do you want to try walking without the walker? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oops, be careful. <laughs> Don't land on your butt. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go. <laughs> Tighten your legs so you can stand on your own. <laughs> well done. You can stand now. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you want to try as well, Alex? <laughs> Don't forget to tighten your legs. <laughs> You're doing great, Alex. <laughs> Watching Lily first definitely helped. <laughs> How about, now that you're standing, I can get you dressed for the school dance! Great! Let's start with Lily! It won't take long. You won't get tired. First, the dress. Now shoes. But before getting the hairband, let's do something with your hair! I think we've got some scissors here. Yes! I'm going to trim that hair. And we're also going to comb it so it gets some volume and shape. Now time for the hairband. You look incredible, Lily. You'll see, Lily looks beautiful. I'll get you a matching suit. And these cute shoes. Hmm, but we also need to do something to your hair. Some hair gel first. So it stays still when we comb it. I think we should get a quiff. 
Just like that. All done. Congratulations, guys. You can go dance at the school dance now. Hi, Alex. Wow, what have you got there? Do you know what it is? It's a Pokeball. You keep Pokemon in it. How about I dress you up as the characters in this great anime? <laughs> great! Let's start with you, Alex. You'll be Ash, the protagonist. Let's see what we've got in the closet. Ash is a Pokemon trainer. The best in the world! His favorite Pokemon is the adorable Pikachu. And together, they go around the world looking for medals to participate in tournaments. His goal is becoming a master. And for that, he needs to win the Pokemon League. But it's not going to be easy. Team Rocket is always after him. They want to steal Pikachu off him. But Ash will never let that happen. Wow, it's a magic Pokeball. You look just like Ash. <laughs> yeah! Alex is dressed as Ash. So you will become Pikachu. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon. So his power is electricity. His main color is yellow, which is also my favorite color. <laughs> Though he also has two brown stripes on his back and tail. And he's also got black on his ears. He keeps his electric power in his red cheeks. And his name means... Mouse with electric skills. Wow, you look just like Pikachu. Be careful, Kira. You could electrocute Alex! Now you can play Pokemon as much as you like! Hi, Lily! What have you got there? Ah, it's a Sebastian toy! The Little Mermaid's crab friend! You didn't know that? How about I tell you the story of the Little Mermaid while we dress you up as her? Great! Once upon a time, there was a mermaid princess called Ariel who lived under the sea. Ariel wanted to know what the world above the surface was like. But King Triton, her father, would only allow her to do that once in her life. So when Ariel was old enough, she was allowed to watch humans from the sea. And when she did it, she saw a prince sailing in a boat and a storm that sunk it. Ariel couldn't help herself and she went to save the prince, leaving him at the shore of a desert island. But when she went back to the world under the sea, she couldn't stop thinking about the prince. She had fallen in love with him. So she decided to visit Ursula, the evil fairy under the sea. She told Ariel she'd give her legs to go visit her lover. But in exchange for her voice, Ariel accepted and went looking for the prince. Together, they went back to the castle in love. But the prince's dad had already organized his wedding with a princess from another kingdom. Ariel went to the wedding without being able to say a word and thinking she would need to go back and live under the sea. But luckily, her sister showed up and gave Ursula part of their hair in exchange for Ariel's voice. And that's how, in the middle of the wedding, Ariel ran to the prince and said, I love you! But the prince's father kept insisting his son couldn't marry Ariel because she wasn't a part of the royalty. Luckily, King Triton showed up to prove that Ariel, his daughter, was a princess. And that's how Ariel and Prince could get married and live in love 
happily ever after. Yay! Did you like the story? <laughs> you are the Little Mermaid now. Yay! Hey guys, what's wrong? Hmm? You went to garden and Max got mud all over you, Kira. Don't worry. We can give you a bath with colored bubbles. You are all clean, so you don't need a bath, Max. Shall we, Kira? First, we need to take your dirty clothes off to take them to the washing machine. And now we'll rinse your hair with some water. I know you're a cat and don't really like water baths. But you'll see, you are gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> of course, Kira. It not only softens the mud, water also takes your hair dye off. Now let's get rid of those stains. We'll use a special shampoo for kitties. It smells really good! <laughs> and by rubbing your hair with this sponge, we'll make all the stains go away. Just like that! Great! Time to rinse again! It's all good, Kira. Sooner or later, you are gonna have to get used to baths. And you'll see, after today's, you won't be scared of them anymore. Done! Do you want to play with the colored bubbles then? First, we'll try some blue bubbles. <laughs> Isn't it super fun? Let's rinse you off so we can use another color. Wow! So fun! You're blue now! <laughs> Let's try some yellow. <laughs> I'm sure you'll look like a lemon cat now. <laughs> I can't wait to see the result. Yes! You are yellow now. <laughs> I see, you don't like it. So let's try another color then. I'm sure pink will make you feel better. Because it smells just like roses. <laughs> You look beautiful, Kira! But it's time to finish. So let's get you all rinsed off. So you get your normal color back. Now, time to dry you off with a towel. And that way, we can brush your hair so you're back to being yourself. Make sure we don't leave any knots and your hair is clean and smooth. We are done, Kira. You are super clean. And also, without realizing, little by little, you're losing that fear of yours towards water. And you had fun playing with the colored bubbles. I see you're not letting go of your little mermaid costume. <laughs> but how about we dress you up as a different character from the same movie? You could be Sebastian the Crab, King Triton, Flounder the Fish, or the Evil Witch Under the Sea, Ursula! Let's see which one you get. I'd really like it if you get Ursula. <laughs> yes! We are so lucky! Ursula is the witch under the sea where Ariel lives, with her sisters and King Triton. Let's see what we've got in the closet to dress you up as her. The black leotard is perfect for the top. And with these tentacles, you'll be super scary. <laughs> you'll also need some earrings like these. Ursula is evil, but she also cares about her looks. <laughs> Now let's do something with this hair! First, we'll take these two ponytails down. But since <laughs> Ursula doesn't have long hair, we're going to have to cut yours. So we can comb your hair upwards. <laughs> hmm, you've got the right haircut, but the color is not working. We need your hair to go white. Close your eyes. 
I can't wait to see the results! <laughs> you look incredible, Lily! Though, you're so pretty, you don't look like a witch! <laughs> but we'll fix that with makeup! This time, we'll use a purple foundation, Ursula's skin color! But we won't only use it on your face, also on your body and arms! <laughs> now time for the mascara! Witches have really long eyelashes! In order to get a more evil look, we'll make your eyebrows black! We also need some eyeshadow! In different tones now, so we can have a magic look! <laughs> and of course, we'll use some lipstick! We're almost done! We are only missing the magic pendant! Wow! Your power has teletransported us to the bottom of the sea! Enjoy being Ursula, but behave! <laughs> Lice in the house! We need to find out who's got them! Let's check if it's Max! It looks like you are clean, Max! Let's have a look at Kira! Oh no, Kira! I think you're full of lice! But let's have a closer look! Yes, they are lice! We need to get rid of them ASAP! You won't scare them away groaning, Max! Don't worry! I'll help you get better, Kira! First, we need to go for a shower! So let's head to the bathroom! Look! This is an anti-parasitic shampoo, special for cats! It helps weakening lice, fleas, and mites! But we need to scrub your body really, really well! Lice can be very dangerous on cats! Because apart from being itchy, they can also pass diseases on! Let's rinse you off! That way we can check if the lice are gone! Hmm… I'm afraid we only got rid of half of them! We should head to the cot! And finish the treatment there! You can't lick now, Kira! You might eat the lice! Don't worry! With this special anti-lice brush, we'll get rid of the remaining ones! Thanks to its thick and flexible bristles, the lice get stuck in them! And once it's out of your head, we just need to put them in a bowl full of hot water and alcohol! So they die and don't jump on Max, Ruby, Lily, or Alex! All right, I think I'm done. But we should check it with the magnifying glass. This is great! No lice anywhere! And your hair is back to clean and shiny! Though, if we don't want them to come back again soon, we should apply an anti-lice spray now. Close your eyes, Kira! Thanks to it, we'll make sure lice stay away from you! Done now! You are finally lice-free! Good morning, guys! <laughs> it looks like Lily is a bit gassy! Oh, she's not just gassy, she's poopy! Lily, time to wake up! Are you pooping? Oh, <laughs> don't worry! It makes sense! All babies poop at night! That's what diapers are for! <laughs> but you are old enough to learn how to go to the toilet now! It had to happen at some point! <laughs> so, Lily, let's go to the toilet! You still have to use the bathroom? We better take those dirty diapers off then! Oh, it's everywhere! <laughs> we should throw them away! They stink! <laughs> All right, now you can finish! Wow, that was a lot! <laughs> Are you done now? Okay, that was the last one! <laughs> 
time to get clean now. Leave some room for me, Lily. You are behaving really well, Lily. I can tell you're getting older. See? You're all clean now. Let's get rid of this toilet paper. Good job, Lily. We're done. I'll go get you a clean diaper. That way, when you feel the need to go to the toilet, you can let me know, and I'll help you keep learning. You know how to go to the toilet now. Wow, this toy house is so nice. Do you know whose it is? It's Blue's house, the funniest and most fun dog in Brisbane. It's all right, Max. You are the funniest and most fun dog in Toon Toon. You don't need to be jealous. I have an idea. How about we dress you up as Bluey and her sister, Bingo? Great. Let's start with you, Max. Bluey is a blue healer pup. She is six years old, has a lot of imagination, and she's very curious. She lives in Brisbane with her mom, her dad, and her sister. Her mom is Chili, and she works as a security guard at the airport. Her dad is Bandit, and he works as an archaeologist. Together, they look after Bluey with lots of love and care. Last but not least, there's her sister, Bingo. She is four years old, really good, and funny. <laughs> Do you want to know what Bluey looks like? <laughs> now you have her same colors! Wow! It's a magic toy! You look just like Bluey now! Max looks great! I'm sure you'll make a great bingo as well! <laughs> Bingo has red hair, just like her mother. She's more shy than Bluey, but loves playing as well. She especially loves playing doctors and patients, as long as she gets to be the doctor. <laughs> she also loves talking to bugs in the park. They are her friends. And she's got such a big imagination that sometimes it seems like she lives in her own world. <laughs> You've got a lot of imagination as well, Kira. At least as much as she does. <laughs> Bingo lives with her sister and parents in the same house. But also, she's got tons of friends in Brisbane. Do you want to know what she looks like? You'll see. You look so much like her. Wow, Kira! You look great! <laughs> Are you happy with the result? You can now play as Bluey and Bingo! You're going to burn the clouds! <laughs> I think you should finish your dinner! So we can get ready to get in the tent and go to sleep! Tomorrow we need to head back home early! Before we go to sleep, we must make sure we use some mosquito repellent spray! That way you won't wake up full of bites. But remember, you can't sleep with the lights on either. We don't want to call the attention of all the animals in the forest. <laughs> I'm going to sleep in my tent. Good night, guys. We've had such a great trip. Nothing can go wrong now. <laughs> Oops, I almost forgot closing in the tent so bugs can't come in. All right now, bedtime. <sighs> oh! Guys! What's wrong? Oh, oh, I forgot to close our tent last night! Oh no! Alex, Lily, you're full of mosquito bites! I'm so sorry! I can see not even the spray worked. Oh no, it was a mite repellent spray. Don't worry guys, we can fix this. Oh, it's worse than I thought. 
First, let's apply some ice. Thanks to it, we'll get the swelling down and we'll numb the whole area a bit, so it'll hurt less. Now, I'll get you some lotion for wounds and itchiness. So you won't be scratching them, and the marks will go away very fast. We're almost done. You'll see. You'll feel a lot better once we finish. Finished! Any better? Alright, so even with some accident involved, you have made it through your first night camping ever! Hmm. I can see the Halloween wedding cake has really called your attention. <laughs> Do you know what it means? It means this Halloween, you are dressing up as the corpse bride! <laughs> that way, we can play weddings, but with a terrifying, fun touch to it! Dressing up as the corpse bride is really fun, because it brings together both our passions, costumes, and love! <laughs> this time, we'll start with your hair. It doesn't look very Halloween-y. Even though you're going to be a zombie, you'll have to look pretty for your wedding. <laughs> now, let's dye your hair with a sinister and terrifying tone. You'll be really scary. Hmm, okay. I think so far you're not looking very scary because you're really pretty. <laughs> let's get the right makeup for the occasion. You'll need all your skin, not just your face, to look pale. That way, you'll look like you've just come out of a grave! <laughs> and since you've been in it for a long time, we are going to add some eyeshadow to highlight the bags under your eyes. We'll also make your eyelashes look special! Just like that! Also, a good bride always needs a good lipstick. Hmm, I think you're still too pretty. Let's try and make some scars on your face with a pencil. So you'll have the right zombie look that we need. Great! I think you're ready to put on your corpse bride dress. The skirt first. Now the top. And also the shoes! Now time for the accessories. A wedding veil, your wedding ring, and a bouquet of dead flowers. <laughs> Don't worry, they're not really dead. They're just made of paper. <laughs> Lily, you are the prettiest corpse bride of all Halloween. <laughs> Guys, don't be mad. All right. You each like a different character from Elemental better, but you don't need to fight over it. <laughs> we should just play and dress you up as those characters and teach you things about them. Yeah! You'll be Ember, the movie's protagonist. She, the same as you, has got a temperament. <laughs> don't worry. But even though she denied it, she was overwhelmed by her mom's and friend's expectations. <laughs> However, if we're always angry, we're actually hurting ourselves and those around us. So staying calm is what Ember needs to learn. Time for makeup! This is why Ember is made of fire. Because she can't control her temperament. And so, we're going to use an orange and yellow foundation on your whole body, so you look like you're made of fire. <laughs> but since Ember looks after her appearance, same as you, we're going to use some proper eyelashes. <laughs> Lastly, a colorful lipstick, just like this one. Done! Wow! You look just like Ember, but smiling Ember. This is great! <laughs> You'll be Lake, the co-protagonist of the movie. He is really sensitive and is constantly crying. 
crying when we're sad or when we feel super happy is a good thing. But doing it on every single occasion can keep us from experiencing our own power. That's why it's important to let ourselves be sensitive and strong in our convictions. There's a time for everything. Time for makeup. With you, since you're a water character, we'll make your body blue and white. Water represents the capacity to adjust, but also, but also the capacity to become solid, just like ice. Balance between hardness and flow is what Lake needs to learn. <laughs> you look just like him! <laughs> Congratulations! You are the funnest elemental couple out there. Time to enjoy now! Hi, guys! I can see you're all ready to go to the cinema and watch the new Paw Patrol movie! <laughs> but in the new movie, Ryder and Chase are not wearing that anymore! Right? Now they wear superhero suits because they've got superpowers! <laughs> you haven't really understood anything. <laughs> we should dress you up with the new outfits. You'll be properly dressed for the cinema. <laughs> In order to look like Chase, before we dress you up, we need to dye your hair. Close your eyes. This way, people will think you are the real Chase. Only without superpowers. <laughs> What's wrong? Of course. Chase's ears are facing up. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> now you look the same. <laughs> oh, you're so brave. Before confronting all the villains in Toon Toon, we should get you all dressed. You'll be wearing armor, so you'll need to protect your skin with some anti-attack leotards. And since your superpower will be your super speed, you'll also need super boots! <laughs> For your chest and arms, apart from protection, we'll also need the capacity to conduct your power's energy. And for your head, an aerodynamic helmet with eye protection. But we are missing the most important thing! The gem of power! Well, I didn't know it was actually magical! Try now, see if you've got any superpowers! Yes! You've got your super speed! You even had time to grab a new bone! <laughs> Max looks just like Chase! So you'll be just as good! <laughs> also, your costume is going to be really technological! It's got so many different pieces! Just like Iron Man! <laughs> we are only missing the helmet! Do you also have superpowers? You got the power to home your toys! <laughs> we are now ready to go to the cinema! And everyone will think you are the actual protagonists! <laughs> Hi, guys! So cool! It's the Wizard of Oz's tale! How about we dress up as the characters while I tell you the story? Yay! Great! Let's start with Lily. <laughs> Dorothy is a girl that lived in a farm with her uncle and aunt. One day, while she was playing with her puppy Toto, a tornado took them away. Dorothy ended up in a magical place where a fairy told her, in order to go back home, you need to follow the yellow brick road and find the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you are a real Dorothy now. So let's go for the next character. On her journey, Dorothy found a sad scarecrow. 
who wanted to have a brain to be able to think. So Dorothy invited him to come with her and find the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you look really funny dressed as a scarecrow. Let's go for the next character. Dorothy and the Scarecrow continued on their journey. And they found a Tin Man who wanted to have a heart so he could be more sensitive. So Dorothy invited him to come with her and the Scarecrow and find the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you are a real Tin Man. Dorothy, the Scarecrow, and the Tin Man continued on their journey. And they found a fearful lion who wanted to be brave. So Dorothy invited him to come with them and find the Wizard of Oz. Let's find out about the end of the story altogether. In the end, the Wizard of Oz managed to give the Scarecrow a brain, the Tin Man a heart, and bravery to the lion. But Dorothy hadn't been able to make it home. So the Wizard of Oz got her up on his hot air balloon to take her. But Dorothy and her puppy fell off the balloon. Luckily, as she was falling, she fell asleep and nothing bad happened to her. She just woke up at her uncle and aunt's place. And she had learned that there's no better place to be than home. Did you like it? Now you know the story of the Wizard of Oz. Hi, guys. <laughs> Alex looks so funny dressed as a piglet. Would you also like to turn into one? <laughs> Great! That way we'll have three little pigs, just like the story. <laughs> Do you want me to tell it to you? Yay! Once upon a time, there was a family of little pigs. The mom, the dad, and the three little ones. They all lived happily in a cabin in the woods. But it was time for them to build their own houses. And so, the three little pigs said goodbye to their parents. The first one was a little bit lazy, and he decided to make his house out of hay. The second one was greedy, and he decided to make it out of wood. And the third one, hardworking and thrifty, made it out of stone. Do you want to know the end of the story? Look! The little pig in the hay house was living there in peace. And since he was so lazy, he slept as much as he could. But one day, a really hungry wolf knocked on his door and yelled, Let me come in, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But since the pig thought the house could take it, he didn't open the door. So the wolf blew the house down. Luckily, the little pig managed to run away until he made it to his brother's wood house. He was really calm. He did have a pretty robust house. But one day, the wolf knocked on the door and yelled, Let me come in, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And since the little pig said no, he blew the house away. But the two little pigs managed to run away and hid in their brother's stone house. And he blew and blew, but the wolf could never beat the robust stone house the hard-working brother had built. But he had an idea. He'd sneak in through the chimney. But the three little pigs placed a pot of boiling water under it. So when the wolf came down the chimney, he got burnt, burst out, and ran really, really far away. And that's how the three little pigs decided to have a stone house and live happily ever after. If you had fun with this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. And join our great Toon Toon Games family! Yeah!